Hi, I'm Ms. Kristen of the Oosterhout Free Library. Today, we're going to learn a bit about Maya Lin, a famous artist and architect, which is a person who designs buildings and other structures. We'll learn about her most famous creation, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, and how her love of design all started with Maya's building paper cities when she was a little girl. I'll also show you how to make your own easy paper city too. So let's get started. Memorial Day is a day when we remember the men and women who gave their lives fighting for our country. On Memorial Day, people may get together, visit graves, go to parades, or visit memorial sites like the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. This memorial, also known as the Wall, has the names of over 58,000 men and women who died in the Vietnam War. The memorial was not always there. An architect had to design or draw the plans for it. About 40 years ago, there was a contest where architects, that's the people who designed buildings or structures, could enter their ideas for the memorial. Uh, the memorial would be a place where people could come and remember. The winner of the contest was a young woman who was still in school, and her name is Maya Lin. At the time, she was just 21 years old and still learning how to be an architect. Maya Lin was a college student at Yale University. Her class entered the contest as a school project. Even her teacher entered the contest. But out of all of the entries, her design was the one that was chosen. She persisted with her ideas and her design for the memorial was built. Over 3 million people visit this memorial every year. Some people will look for the names of family members and take a piece of paper and rub over the name. Others will leave flowers or other items to show their respect. Maya Lin went on to become a famous architect and artist. The wall might be Maya Lin's most famous design, but it was not her last. She designed the Civil Rights Memorial in Montgomery, Alabama, the Yale's Women's Table at Yale University, and she also designed this library, the Langston Hughes Library. It's pretty cool. She also creates things using the earth, like making these hills look like waves from the ocean. It's called the wave field. Pretty cool. Maya Lin says that she was making things her whole childhood, and she still is. As a child, Maya Lin liked to make paper cities using scraps of paper that she had around her house. And this is what inspired her to become an architect. And that's what we're going to do today. I'll show you how to make an easy paper building and that you could turn into your own paper city. Let's get started. To make your own paper buildings or cities, you're going to need just a few items. You'll need paper, perhaps some scissors, some crayons or markers, and most importantly, your imagination. So you're going to need to start with a square piece of paper. Now, if the paper that you have is like mine, like this uh, printer paper, it's rectangle. So it's an easy way that you can make a square by folding this over. Pulling that in half lightly, and then you can trim right up here, and you'll wind up with your square piece of paper that you need. So once you have the square piece of paper, you're going to fold it in half, a nice fold right there, and then you're going to want to know where the middle part of this paper is. And the way for you to do that is to fold it in half, and then pinch just in the middle, and you don't have to fold, you just pinch just a little bit. So it gives you an idea where the middle of the paper is right there. So you're going to fold one half over to where that middle part is. 
and fold, squish, and then you're going to fold the other side over and squish right there. And then it'll look just like that. Now you're going to um, do the roof part of it and it'll help it stand up. So the way you're going to do that is you're going to open one side and then you open this part right here. You're going to press right down at the top there and squish. You put it down and flat on the table. That'll make it easy for you to do that. And then you do the same thing for the other side. And you'll wind up with um, a paper that looks just like this. So you're going to then want to take this side here and fold it back and squish. And then fold the other side over back, both sides and squish. Now, this is the fun part. You get to decorate and design your building any way your imagination might have. You can make it look like your own building or maybe some buildings in your neighborhood. And before you know it, you'll have your own paper city, just like Maya Lynn did. And it inspired her to be an architect and artist and build things. Maybe it'll inspire you too. If you want to learn a little bit more about Maya Lynn or the, the wall, you can check out these books that are available from the library. I hope you have fun. I hope you keep exploring and we'll see you next time. Bye.